the eye of the needle, bringing current news to AHS students with Hannah Jesperson and Monica Witzman, with meteorologist Travis Small and Deborah Lewilla. Today's newscast is brought to you by Cass County Memorial Hospital, quality health care close to home, and Atlantic Medical Center. With school news, here is Hannah and Monica. Hi Atlantic High School, I'm Hannah Jesperson. And I'm Monica Whitsman. This is the Eye of the Needle. We'll begin by covering the activities that are happening this week. Monday was Martin Luther King Day. The Atlanta Community School District took part in the national holiday and extended the weekend an extra day. On Tuesday, the boys basketball team plays Glenwood at home. The girls play at Glenwood. Like usual, professional development will take place on Wednesday as well as an early dismissal at 1.50. Wrestling Senior Night will take place on Thursday evening. On Friday, the girls and boys basketball teams play Clarinda. The girls play at Clarinda while the boys play at home. Dance Atlantic will perform during halftime. On Saturday, a wrestling tournament will take place at Creston High School at 10 a.m. Musical practice continues throughout the month as the cast gets closer to the performance on March 8th. This concludes upcoming events for the week. Here's today's interviews with Monica Whitman. Our first interview will be with Brianna Kixmiller. Hi Bri, tell us a little about yourself. Um, my name is Brianna Kixmiller and I am a junior here at Atlanta this year. Awesome, are you ready for your first question? Yes. All right, tell us something about yourself that most people don't know. Um, last spring I got to travel to California and meet Hope Solo and play soccer with her on the beach. Awesome. Second question. Who's the biggest influence on your life? Um, probably my parents, just because they're always there for me. If I need anything, they're always there and they're good role models to look up to. I can definitely understand that. Thanks for coming in today. Yep. No problem. Our second interview will be with Emily Mitchell. Hi, Emily. Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming in today. No problem. Um, tell us a little about yourself. Um, I'm a junior. I am in Volleyball, soccer, softball, and basketball. Awesome. Are you ready for your first question? Yep. Uh, what's something about yourself most people don't know? I'm definitely for the snakes. Cool. Um, who has the biggest influence on your life? I think my mom would because she's a hardworking person and she's been through a lot in her life. That's a good answer. Thanks for coming in today. Welcome. Here's your five-day forecast with meteorologist Travis Small and Deborah Lawilla. Hi, Monica. I'm Travis. And I'm Deborah. Here's this week's weather forecast. On Monday, we have a high of 19 degrees and sunny. On Tuesday, there will be flurries at a temperature of 27 degrees with 30% chances of snow. On Wednesday, January 23rd, we have a high of 34 degrees and mostly sunny. On Thursday, it will be partially cloudy with a temperature of 41 degrees with 10% chances of rain or wind. On Friday, January 25th, it is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 37. Now, back to Hannah and Monica. Thanks, Debbie. This concludes our program. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Make this week count, AHS. Tune in next week for a new episode of The Eye of the Needle. If you want to be on the show in an interview, please email us at ahsieoftheneedle at gmail.com.